Hello, sports fans and football fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, and yes, I am here. I said that I would try to get the uh, Week 12 video, the Thanksgiving Week um, picks video in, and it is obviously here. So, um, yeah, we're doing Week 12. Quick recap of Week 11. Again, not my best work. I was 8-6. Eight 8-6, and, six. Eight and six, and again, there were a lot of upsets. The Bears kicked me in the ass again. So, I'm not going to let that happen anymore. As you will see in the picks this week. And, uh, you know, and I'm always trying to innovate here it with my channel. So, this week... I am going to do a mixture of my old helmets with my new helmets. Now, as you recall, the new helmets are smaller than the older helmets. So, when I do the matchups, the bigger helmet is going to be the team that I'm going to predict to win the game. So, the minute I hold the helmets up, you're going to know who I'm picking. Um, but, that's how I'm doing it. Just because I'm doing a little twist, a little innovation... You know, I'm always trying to, always trying to march forward with my uh, innovations here, with my channel. So, as I mentioned, this is uh, Thanksgiving week. So, instead of one Thursday game, we're going to have three Thursday games. And this week, there is going to be a full slate of games. There's going to be, I believe, 16 games this week. Nobody is on a bye. So, uh, with that having been said, that means that we're going to start with the Thursday, Thanksgiving Day. And by the way, happy Thanksgiving to all of you, everyone out there, your families. And before we get into the picks, again, every video that I do, I am going to mention this. I have a Thanksgiving Day Stratomatic football game going up, card and dice. It's a card and dice, Stratomatic football. It's going to be the 1972 uh, Dallas Cowboys hosting the 1972 Minnesota Vikings. Two teams that actually did not play in 1972, but I had to get that in. Wow. Well, I didn't know you wanted to get involved with the discussion, Mr. Helper. Oh, God, say it! Say it! Because that's bigness. You don't want to miss that. Uh, if you watch my channel, but um, let's get into the real picks of real football. The first game is going to be the Bills at the Lions. Now, the Bills have the um, the convenience, I guess, that this is going to be their second consecutive week playing in Detroit. They had to play in Detroit last week. Um, uh, against, uh, who was it that they played? I forget. But anyway, they had to play in Detroit last week because they, um, obviously there's a lot of snow in Buffalo right now. You might have heard. So, um, they had to play, I think it was Cleveland. Was it Cleveland? It might have been Cleveland that they played and barely beat. But anyway, you can see I have the uh, helmets here, and the bigger helmet is the Bills. And so I'm going to pick the Bills to beat the Detroit Lions in Detroit. As I said, Detroit is the home team, but uh, I don't think that's going to matter. And especially now, you know, the Bills probably feel kind of like it's their home too. The, so that was the 12:30 game. That's the first game of the day. The next game is going to be the Giants and the Cowboys. The Cowboys being another team that likes to play on Thanksgiving. And so they are also another traditionally always going to play on Thanksgiving team. And as you can see, the bigger helmet is the Dallas Cowboys. And yes... We are going to pick the Dallas Cowboys to beat the Giants. 
as you will recall last week, if you watch football, if you follow football, if you know anything about the football world, last week the Dallas Cowboys manhandled the Vikings. Absolutely. Put a beat down on them. I think it was something like 40 to 3. That brings us to the last game of Thanksgiving Day. And that's going to involve the aforementioned Vikings. And they're going to be playing the Patriots. And this game is going to be in Minnesota. And obviously you can see the bigger helmet is the Vikings helmet. And I'm going to go with the Vikings in this one. Let's go with the Vikings. Because if you watched that game between the Patriots and the Jets last week... That was a ridiculous, and I just put the wrong helmet in the wrong place. But anyway, um, that was that was a nightmare, that game. Um, and a lot of the Jets got a lot of flack for it, especially Zach Wilson. But anyway, we're not talking about the Jets right this second. So anyway, yeah, take the Vikings in that game to beat the Patriots, the last game of Thanksgiving Day, which brings us to Sunday, the 27th. And the first game on that docket is going to be the Texans at the Dolphins. And yeah, I mean, come on. I don't think it takes a brain surgeon to figure out that the... Uh, the Dolphins are going to win that game. So I'm taking the Dolphins to beat the Texans. The next game on the docket is the Bengals at the Titans. Bigger helmet here is the Titans. We're going to go with the Titans to beat the Bengals. I picked the Bengals to win last week, and they did win for me. But they did not look very impressive. The Bengals really this year do not look, I'm not impressed at all with the AFC champions. The next game we have is the Broncos at the Panthers. Now this is two teams that, I mean, God only knows what's going to happen in this game. I had to pick somebody. The Panthers played inspired defense, but they have a terrible offense. The Broncos have a pretty good defense. And they're not great offensively, but I think they're a little better. So I'm going to go with the uh, Broncos in this one to beat the Panthers. Now, two teams I've been talking a lot about. The Jets and the Bears. The Bears. And the Bears have been letting me down. As you, If you've been following the series the last three pick videos or so, Every week I've picked the, the uh, Bears to win because I thought they would win. But um, there's a possibility that Justin Fields is injured and won't play the game. But even if Justin Fields does play the game, the Bears always manage to score just enough points to lose the game. So, uh, And the Jets have a great defense. The Jets have a bone-crushing defense. And as I said... Zach Wilson took a lot of flack, not only in the New York press, but in the national press, um, NFL press this past week. Um, he, I mean, they only scored three points, and they lost 10-3. to three. And he was asked if he thought the offense let the defense down. He said no. He just said no. He didn't elaborate on it, nothing. So, yeah, he's been taking some flack for not taking responsibility. But let's go with the Jets. I'm going to say the Jets are going to beat my Bears because they'll, I mean, really what they should do is play Flacco. I, I absolutely, I think that they should play Flacco. We'll see if they do that. But if they play Flacco, for sure, they would beat the Bears. For sure. Maybe if they played Zach Wilson, and see, that's part of the problem with picking that game. I don't really know if uh, Fields is injured badly enough to be out of the game, and I don't really know if Robert Sala is going to decide to go to Flacco or to go to White in, at quarterback instead of Zach Wilson. So there's that issue. Uh, the next one we have, now this is the exception to the big helmet, small helmet. 
we've got the uh, Commanders and the Falcons. And the reason they're both small is I am picking the Commanders to win, but my big helmet is that previous team that we, I guess, is taboo to say, so we're not going to say their name. And so the only real Commanders helmet I have is this one. But we are going to pick the Commanders to beat the Falcons. That's what I'm going with. The Commanders are at home with Heineke. Heineke, man, that dude has them playing and running on all cylinders. I wouldn't bet against that guy now. Next game we have is the Buccaneers at the Browns. And look at that. Look at that, one of these helmets is bigger, and it is the Browns helmet. I'm going to go with the Browns to beat the Buccaneers. I think TB12, I think he's running down, he's running down. And he doesn't have the magic anymore. I'm, you heard it here first, he doesn't have the magic. The next game we have is the uh, Ravens and the Jags. <laughs> yeah, come on. We're going to go with Ravens in that one easily next one you have is the Raiders are at the Seahawks now this game is in Seattle Seattle um, I think has a much better team than the Raiders um, really I want to take that back they don't have a much better I don't think they have a much better team but they're playing much better so we're gonna go with the Seahawks to beat the Raiders, I think that's, you know, you could take that one to the bank. Next game we have is the Chargers and the Cardinals. And, uh, yeah, in this one I'm going to go with the Chargers. The Chargers, I mean, last week they played a very good game with the Kansas City Chiefs. And the Cardinals, I mean, who knows when... Um, when Kyler Murray's going to be back, and uh, Colt McCoy is not the answer. The next one is the Saints and the 49ers. The 49ers, of course, off that big win against the division rival Cardinals, and yeah, we're going to keep riding the 49er train because uh, it's, you know, it's helping me out. I mean, I've been right about them a lot this, this year. And I've been picking them to win a lot more than I did last year. So, we're going to go with that. Next one is the Chiefs. The Chiefs versus anybody. I'm picking the Chiefs. But it's the Chiefs versus the Rams. And yeah, we're going to go with the Chiefs to beat the Rams. I think that should, that was a Super Bowl, wasn't it? Or was it? No, maybe not. No. But anyway... I don't know. My brain is, I mean, this is late night I'm filming this. So, uh, but we are going to go with the Chiefs, pick the Chiefs over the Rams. The Rams are just, they are rudderless right now. They don't even know where they're going. The next game you got is the Packers at the Eagles. This game is in Philadelphia. The Eagles, you know what? The Eagles are not the juggernaut that they looked like coming out of the gates. I could see that just by watching them play. But I think that they are still playing better football overall than the Packers. The Packers, I think, are, uh, <laughs> yeah, they're done. So that's, that's that. And then that brings us to the Monday night game. This is the Monday, November 28th game, and it's going to be the Steelers at the Colts. The Colts are playing inspired football, and the Steelers really aren't. And you can see that I've got the bigger helmet with the Colts. So we're going to take the Colts to win that one over the Steelers. And those are my picks. So what do you guys think? Again, leave a comment below. Let me know what your picks are or what picks you differ with me on. Do you think I'm going to have a better week this week? Um, eight and six. Not the greatest. Um, and with a 16-game schedule, I'm hoping to get at least 10 right this week. But we'll see if that happens for the Sportsman. But right now, that's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z. Bob Zolke, signing off.